about our fine collection of butterflies. Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to The Lost Ground. The guy distracted me. I was about to bail. Oh Take the weight off your feet and watch our film. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Uh, but yeah. Picking up where we left off. Did I look at the fish earlier? Or is this going to be the monoculars? Okay. It wasn't anything important. So yeah, we're going to have to figure out a way to stay here overnight. There has been a settlement in this harbor since Neolithic times. Is it this one? Let's make sure we haven't missed anything. Can we go to the bathrooms? Where are the eyeballs? Oh, did we? Oh, you know what we didn't do? Dang it. We didn't go to the uh, elevator, did we? Shut up, guy. We're going to the elevator. That is one thing I forgot to do. Many archaeologists believe there is treasure hidden out there. I'm being a terrible person. <laughs> Guys just want to go home. Do things. Okay, that just circled around. Oh, that just went back to there. That's the movie. Ah, gotta go Filter this way. Yep. 19. It's just like a... Uh, you know, when, when you're working retail and people come in there, at, like, the store closes at 930 and you, somebody's like, Oh my gosh, gotta, gotta buy something now. It's 925, but I've got a lot of shopping to do. I know you need some sleep. For tomorrow's shift, but you don't need that bad, right? Well, that's eerie. Okay, we missed this place. Yeah, we. Why is there a bird's nest? Why is there a bird's nest in the elevator shaft? Kind of strange. We well, you know. Be sure to check the upper gallery to view some of our artistic masterpieces. Oh. I thought he was going to say that the thing was going to be closing in 10 minutes. He can stifle it! Hmm. What is that, Saxon Harbor? That's what I'm going to assume. Okay, let's go that way. Oh, that, that. The new video panels can be found in the butterfly room. The darkness the down there is kind of eerie. Okay, the sound effects are not being super pleasant right now. As very true. Not anything too much we can do. Kind of a castle it looks like. On a hill maybe. Well let's go down here. Oh. That's frightening. Okay. There's a, there is that voice saying here. It's a symbol. Throne and a pharaoh and a fan. That's what it means. See, that's kind of the the throne, you know. Museum is open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. except on public holidays. I like how he's probably saying at this point, like, just just please get out. Is this going to be an another video? It is. Hmm. Now I'm going to kind of keep talking here because in uh, in in the last uh, in the video before last, I got a content ID on the music playing during the movie. I don't know I don't know why, but I did. Don't bother me, anything. You know, I don't really make anything too much off these videos. But 
I do like to keep my my um my uh channel as in the clear as possible. So uh, you know, I guess it's just really for for you know um, sake of just trying to keep everything clear and above board. This is what's happening when I'm trying to when I try to just keep talking about something. <laughs> And those look like the cards in the, uh, in the, uh, in the intro thing. Anyway, that's that. Do you browse the library for books about Saxton? We the did audience. browse the library. It was interesting. <coughs> the Tree of Crows. Sounds like a, uh, a, a George R. R. Martin song, uh, book. That song. Song of Ice and Fire is a series. It's a book series. Mystery surrounds, mystery surrounds this stylized depiction of an oak tree and crows. There are no records of this of the painting being commissioned, nor is there an artist mark to be found anywhere within the brushstrokes. A recent scientific e examination by historians using X-ray technologies proved futile, as the oil pigments seem to defy the scanner. A beautiful piece of art, which will forever remain a mystery. And I guess we can do things with it. Yep, it cranked up there. Hmm. We won't be able to take any pictures of it until later. That's definitely... Definitely got an EVP here. Yeah. <laughs> I should listen to the recording. <laughs> Strange sounds recorded from the painting Tree of Crows. There's crows coming from the painting. By the way, uh, that was that was the most terrible non-hand puppetry ever performed anywhere. Okay, so there wasn't much to see that to see up here. Now there was the basement. Can we go in the basement? Basements are always uh, interesting. Interesting. Don't forget to explore the mystery surrounding this. House. Of course, the thing is, I could probably. Uh, I'm doing it this way, but I probably could just. Whenever we need to. Uh, is that a crow's nest, maybe? Oh dang! Look at the ladder. Hope nobody was on it to cause that. Oh. Is he? I don't think I should be down here. Uh, just, just, just do it. Don't worry about things. Okay. Well, we can't do anything. What was I saying? I was in the middle of saying something. Yeah, I was. I think I was saying I probably could explore the museum at night. Anything I have left, but. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just uh, just like to stick my nose in the place, I guess. Pardon the nose. I cleaned it, so you don't have to worry about anything. Well, I, do, I mean, there actually there is a saying, you know, keep your nose clean. So and it goes that way. So yeah. So over here is how you get back to this guy. Good afternoon. 
Of course. Thank you. Okay, so he's not saying like, hey, I just said this, the museum's gonna be closing, so uh Take the weight off your feet and watch our film about the okay, town. where's the oh no, that's not where I wanted to go. Wait, can we go down here? No, we can't go down there. Okay. Where's the bathroom, by the way? I gotta, I gotta poo. Okay, sounds sound like something, some, some, there has been a in this hall somebody was knocking there. Okay, so where's the entrance here? Okay, maybe this is the entrance. Okay, these are money signs. So I'm assuming there. Then you go around through here. So where's the butterfly room? Okay, there's the movie room. So maybe if I go. Many on. Treasure hidden out there in the fence. Okay, nope. That's not what I want to do. Okay, now how? Let's look at it again. Let's, let's examine it. Let's get it straight. We need to find the bathroom. Okay, there's the there's the elevator. So yeah, according to this, you it looks like you should be able to go to the bathrooms here. I'm assuming you need to hide in the bathrooms is what I'm thinking. That's what I that's what I'm thinking. Okay, oh that's the museum is based in Saxon's old town mm -hmm. hall, built around eighteen nineteen. Seriously, gotta poop. Gotta go to the bathroom. Where I go? Okay, that's all the same way. Pieces. You see, it fooled me before. It fooled me before, and I wasn't happy about it. You know, there when I was trying to find the uh, new video the, uh, the 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 place the there the where the Eggers lived at. It fooled me then. Ain't gonna fool me again though. Mm. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, oh my gosh, look, you big dummy. <sighs> okay, so seven is a Saxon treasures. E is, I mean, uh, e, e is the butterflies, okay. Seven is the Saxon treasures. Okay, ah, uh, okay. The sacks. So yeah, I had it about right. Oops, didn't want, didn't mean to do that. Wait, what? Did I look at this before? The fossil you see before you is not that of a monster, but a North Sea trilobite. It was discovered in 1900 by workmen while well, workmen converting Saxon's Martello Tower to a lighthouse to the southeast of the town, with no knowledge of the prehistoric period. The workmen believed they had unearthed the corpse of a frightful creature from the uh, country's mythology, I think is what I said. I was kind of reading it fast. Yeah, it's fixing to say I don't think this is supernatural. <laughs> the museum is open 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Whoa, what the crowd? No, oh, he's still there. Ooh. Do browse the library. <laughs> If I come from that angle again, will that happen once again? The museum. Yes. 
Oh, nope, that, that did the same thing. It got me content I did as well, so I'm gonna be talking kind of like that and then... Hey! So yeah, where is the sax? The sax is right there, isn't it? Don't forget to explore the mystery surrounding the Saxon skeleton. Yeah, that's the sax. Okay, maybe I don't have to like you can marvel hide. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I think I'm overthinking this, aren't I? I was thinking we had to hide in the bathroom or something. Okay, let's make sure that he didn't that there wasn't anything else that he was gonna say. Good afternoon. Would it be possible? Certain we can't. Okay, that we did ask. Can we go back in there? Screw that! We, we need to get back in there. We need to do stuff. The Saxton Bell. Okay, well, how do we get back in there? We've definitely got to get back in there. I don't know how. Okay, so maybe we can go back to Nanny Nellis. Okay, we can at least go over here. Is her door the, the entrance to the TARDIS? Oh, we can... We can go in here. Oh, great. <laughs> She got the radio and the TV on, so don't get me ID'd. <laughs> um, what is this? Sorry if I'm talking about that too much. I'll I'll I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> Just interesting. Oh, is that little is that little Nanny Noah? Okay, she likes the classical music. Not bad. Oh, oh do we get to change it now? By north, three, 19 miles, 1027, rising slowly. Bridlington, east northeast, one, 11 miles, 1027, rising slowly. Sandetti light vessel automatic, northeast, five, 11 miles, 1,027, rising slowly. Greenwich light vessel automatic. North, 3, 11 miles. 1,027, rising. Okay, Five so that's, S. uh... Five S. Five S. West... On the weather. West by north, three, 19 miles, 1, okay. Hello, slowly. George. What's up, George? East Which way did he go, George? Miles, There's a ghost on the loose. Rising slowly. An insect? Maybe a dragonfly? Northeast five. We'll sit down, boy. I'll put the kettle on. Rising slowly. Okay, he's gonna sit down on his own. Okay. Apparently it's dual wielding stations, because I can still hear the uh, the weather gas. I like orchestral music kind of like that. Hmm. <laughs> Just slip a coin. <laughs>
Yep, we, we looked at this though. <laughs> that we did. Okay, what's the importance of the dragonfly then? Hey, well there was a dragonfly that kept landing on the on the uh, fence post. There, um, in front of them, you know, it's so maybe important. Is that the ocean? No, I'm from the make out. I've had quite a day. I can see. You must tell me about it. But first, you must have some questions or something to show me. Can I ask about Northville Church? Of course, I'll help if I can. I believe Northfield Church is haunted. Oh, without doubt. Who do you think it is? I'm not sure, but all clues are pointing to oh, yeah. the Aegis. The Aegis? Oh, Nigel. You're going to have to take care. Why? Is there something I should know? Brothers, four of them, all connected to the local churches. Yes. Thomas Ager was a rector at Northfield. Ha! Dark, hearted, heathen that he was. Nasty man. Okay. I'm revisiting the church later tonight. How? It's a jolly long way and there's no night bus. The train tracks lead to Carrion Wood from Sedgemarsh Station. In that case, you must take this charm. I felt there was someone or something watching me from the railway sidings. I know. I know, Nigel. Be careful tonight. Okay. It sounds like, uh, sounds like night time is going to be interesting. I met Mr. Russet, the gravedigger. Wesley Russet is as old as these fens. He talked about the old ways. Oh, did he now? We'll have to talk about that, you and I. Have I done something wrong? No, not at all. You're just not ready for such things. Are you going to teach us how to be a wizard? And fight the old ways with the new ways? I don't I know why I said that way. Else? Of course. It yeah, looks like uh, that time's going to be interesting. we got the church to go back to. we got uh, we got the uh, museum. You were right about the antique shop. Oh, Nigel, I told you not to visit. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Speaking of cats, there seem to be a few missing. Yes, vanished without trace, dratted creatures. Not a feline fan, eh? Oh, not at all. George loathes the things. Maybe he's eating them. The museum presented many mysteries. It hides more mystery than it exhibits. Dig deep, my boy. The answers are there to find. As well as more questions, I expect. Can you take a look at this item? Of course. I'll help if I can. Okay, well... A charm. A charm from... Well, what is this? Not all is as it seems. Oh, wait. Is this, the, is this the wand from Sailor Moon? You are getting amazing results. Okay, yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> Just side check. Oh yes, indeed. The museum should satisfy your curiosity. Mm-hmm. The announcement of a memorial service. Ooh. She knows, I had ooh. this from North Oh, she knows who that is. Oh, okay. Funeral service. So soon. The vicar told me to bring it to you. Vicar. Oh, oh that's, that's right. right. That was quick. Oh, thank you, Nigel. Yes, thank you. I shall get trimming and streaming later tonight. Poor evening. Oh, now, now. That's enough chatter for now. Give me your Oh, hand. okay. I guess that's what we need Why? to show her. What do you want to do? Read your palm, of course. Come, come. Firstly, Nigel, we shall look at your lifeline. It's this oh, I have a phone up for a Which runs from the side to the base of your hand. You have the best kind of lifeline, which is strong and clearly marked. 
that indicates good health and vitality. Secondly, above oh. the lifeline is the second most important marking in palmistry. The headline here is separate from your lifeline, indicating a logical and direct way of thinking. The depth of this line also indicates you have a good memory, which is always a good thing. Well, I don't see that line. Next, your heart, <laughs> which is here from the center finger to the left of your palm. Yours begins at the middle finger, which indicates you have a materialistic look upon life and love. These small broken hmm. lines indicate you have been unlucky in love. Hmm. Lastly, your hands are square in shape. Hmm, very square, in fact. This suggests you are hardworking, dedicated, and earthly individual. This is a good sign. Lovely. It means you have good values and provide much for those you know and work with. Is this your first palm reading? Yes, actually. I didn't realize the palm could be so revealing. Was it accurate? Ah, that would be telling. For now, I can tell you it was spookily accurate. They used to burn people for these kind of skills, you know. I know, superstitious fools. Even isolated villages like Saxton were ransacked by witch hunters, angry torch-bearing thugs, and the paranoid religious zealots of the Abbey. I believe the innocent people burned to lives still haunt this town. They are seeking justice for their deaths. A terrible business. Mm -hmm. Dang. What are you playing? Lady of Zelda Majora's Mask now? It's a reference to the game I've never played. I've seen a bit of the game. I've seen a bit of a game. A bit of gameplay for that game though, so. Really big moon in the sky. I think it's coming. I think it's going to hit the the world or something. Hmm. So wait, we're not going to go exploring at night. Anyway, guys, I think this is a good point to call it right here. Some uncomfortable noises. But anyway, guys, I do sincerely hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.